Hey everyone, uh, Sierra Games Scott here, uh, playing Gold Rush in what I hope to be our grand finale. Um, one thing I did, I actually paused the game at one point, uh, because I was going to restore, and I guess I had left it on pause, and was pretty much at the final scene, or right next to it, and I uh, cut out a bunch of my commentary, so I was just talking to myself for a while, which isn't, uh, 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 isn't necessarily something I'd never do, but it's, um... And unfortunately, something I did do and kind of wasted both of our time. So I'm backtracking a little bit, not that you'd really know that much, since I think we ended up with a blank screen the last time. And I just wanted to give you a couple of pointers about um, uh, about using the pick. Um, what I was talking about beforehand was that to get maximum points, you need to actually mine for gold using the pick in the cave. And now, this ladder right here is the ladder that leads down to where you get first get the pick. And so I'm just starting off that as a point of reference. And on this level, when you get off where you're back, it was pretty much the original level um, where you climbed down initially, uh, you have to use the pick on, on the walls here. And I believe three times you can find gold. And it's I'm not going to do it personally because it takes a while. And uh, for, I think, both of our purposes, I think everyone would be happier if we don't uh, uh, spend too much time on the Let's Play Doing, uh, taking care of that. That's pretty much just doing this. And uh, at some point it'll say you found gold, and you'll see something sort of yellow on the wall. And you want to actually make sure you take the gold as well, because at the maximum point you need both the gold, uh, you need to both find the gold and um, get the gold. I think you can do that three times on this level. Um, and that's really the way to get... It's kind of annoying to me that you have to do all that sort of... Especially after you do all the panning for gold in the wilderness, that you actually have to go back and uh, and you have to do this and, and find the gold that way. But that is the way to get the maximum score. And there is actually some gold that's available that is um, readily available. And this is actually an example of it. You just go to the ladder here. You have to be kind of careful because you have to actually go over to the side like this, move a little bit over on the ladder without falling off. And then say, take gold, and hopefully we're close enough. You can't reach it from here. Okay, so, oop. Well, that's a uh, little bit of a tumble. So, um, well, let's, uh, let's see if I can do that again quickly, since we have a little bit of time. I'll give it another try. If not, you'll have to take my word for it. Then you can get over there and uh, grab the gold. I uh, can get, get close to it. You might want to turn, might want to turn the uh, speed down. We'll, we'll do that when we get closer, I guess. Also, uh, a thing to remember is just the lantern will run out. I, I'm not sure if that made the last video. Oops, that, that ladder leads just back up to that door and you can't get through it. Um, uh, that you could actually run out of uh, oil and at that point everything turns black and it's a real challenge for you. Uh, so uh, make sure you don't spend too much time delaying, but you have, you have a decent amount of time. And okay, let's turn the speed down a little bit and we'll turn that down to normal. We were on fast beforehand. And hopefully that will give us a little bit more accuracy, a little bit more of an ability uh, to get close to gold. Can we grab it? Can't reach it. Maybe we can get higher. That's a shame. There. Right. You can reach out and grab the nuggets. Okay. Now, one of the reasons I wanted to also backtrack, for those of you uh, guys playing along, is it looks... If you see this sort of black thing jutting out, it looks like it's part of the shadow, something that's in the foreground. Well, that's actually something you can walk on, and if you don't know that, you're not going to get to the next part of the game. I remember my dad and I playing, and it took us uh, what, years ago when I was a little kid, and we just couldn't figure out how to get out of this maze, or out of the mine, because it, it doesn't look like it's actually the way to go. So you can spend hours just uh, being very confused where to head off to, and trying to go down the different ladders and things. Um... Anyway, we are in game very close to the end, and if you see any of this yellow, it's just gold nuggets that are just kind of laying out there. You can reach out and get it. And the gold doesn't really do you any good anymore. Um, I mean, we're pretty close to the end of the game. There's no more towns. There's nowhere to buy anything. It's not like an RPG where you want to uh, accumulate as much gold as possible, or else, um, you know, in order to buy things or to get status or what, what have you. It's, certainly, it's not the World of Warcraft where people actually, I guess, go out and actually buy gold. I hope I'm not making fun of anyone. Don't mean to. But uh, that people actually will spend real money just uh, to get uh, World of Warcraft gold. I guess it's sort of a big business. Anyway, um, but that that's not like it at all. It's just if you want the maximum amount of points, you have to make sure you grab all the gold you can. Alright, so we're back down here. I'm not going to bother saving because I have a game saved down here where I actually have a few more points because I did do some of the mining for gold. Not the maximum, as I mentioned beforehand, I end up at 12 short. And um, assuming we don't die, we'll end up even more short. If we do, we'll probably end up 12 short again. And um, see if we can handle it. Okay, we got down. Wow. I guess we're going slow enough. 
through the still darkness, you hear the faint sound of someone picking. Well, that's our sign that we are getting mighty close. Alright, so we can take the gold. You can reach out and grab the gold nuggets. I wonder. I think you can go over here and do some more mining and, s and such. But we're not going to do that because, like I said, um, I don't want to waste either your time or my time uh, doing that if you're playing along or you plan on playing this yourself. Um, whoop, don't want to go up the ladder again. Uh, I don't want to fall off, though. There we go. Uh, if you're playing along or, or anything like that, you can certainly and want maximum points. Uh, you do have to make sure you find all the gold you can. And obviously there's plenty, there's a couple walkthroughs available online. should be easy if you just uh, Google Gold Rush Walkthrough. Um, and it'll tell you where all the points are and um, what you need to do. So, um, I think you see here, I'm not sure what that's, if that's supposed to be water or not. But I guess it uh, lets you indicate that you're pretty close and try it without the lantern. Uh, lighting the lantern sometime. I don't know if that's a joke by Sierra or actually... Somebody actually could do it. Maybe you get maximum points for going through this maze without the lantern. I don't think you can. Or uh, maybe you can get maximum points, but I don't think you, it's possible to do. In any event, we are here at the final stage, and let's see if we can finish this up before the video ends. Your eyes, unaccustomed to the bright light of the lanterns, take a moment to adjust. Alright, well, I can't really do anything here, so... Although you are still squinting, you see a man across the mine shaft. You have followed a trail of clues left by your brother, and they've led you right here. It must be him. And he certainly did not make it easy for us. You move closer to get a better look. It's been 11 years, but there's no doubt about it. That is your brother. Jake, you shot across the mine shaft. Thanks for not giving us a key. And leading us on this wild goose chase. <laughs> well, not wild goose chase, but, uh... A bit annoying. Anyway, you wait a moment and shout again, Jake, I mean James, is that you? The man across the mine shaft stops picking and turns around. So he doesn't isn't start by his original name, but it is by his alias, I guess. Whatever. Uh, he looks you over from head to toe. He looks you over from head to toe. It's me, your brother Jared, you shout. Is it really you, Jared? It's me, Jared Wilson. I can't believe it. It's really you. I just can't believe it. Even though we've had multiple forms of communication. Alright, so there's a little song playing in the background. The All Acquaintance Be Forgot song, I believe. Let me get a good look at you, Jared. I still can't believe it's really you. You're looking good, Jared. Well, I'm looking okay, considering everything I've been through to get here. Somewhat thanks to you. <laughs> but I'm wondering about you, James. How are you doing? And what have you been doing for the last 11 years? That's a long story. I'll tell you all about it sometime. But not us. <laughs> but right now, you and I have work to do. I'm closing in on the finest and purest vein of gold in all of California. And the two of us are going to find it. Well then, let's get to work, James. Okay, well, um, I don't want to rush... There's not too much left. I probably could squeeze it in this video, but uh, I'd rather not do so. So there's going to actually be one more video, and it'll give me a little time to be able to uh, to uh, run my mouth. And uh, for those of you who don't like it, you can uh, you can uh, shut it off halfway through with the next one. But there will be uh, one last video, so we're closing out for now. This is Gold Rush. This is the second last video. This is CR Game Scott signing off. Take care.